Hi, and I hope you're keeping well and that you've had a, a good uh, Easter break and enjoyed the weather despite the lockdown. I want to bring you just a few thoughts from the Bible today, uh, thinking again about the resurrection of Jesus, uh, looking at John's Gospel, John chapter 20, starting at verse 19. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. About 12, 13 years ago, I did some training on a course on mediation. And one of the books that I took away from that course was this, Bringing Peace into the Room. It's a book for uh, mediators and conciliators to uh, show them things that you can do when you go into a room where there is trouble, uh, when things are going wrong uh, and where there is tension and stress and you can bring peace into the room. I've learned some things from it um, and, and some things I didn't find that helpful at all. But what I find today uh, in the reading in John is one person brings peace into a room that no one else can in any other way. It's the day of the resurrection. Uh, the disciples are locked away behind closed doors, uh, frightened because of what the Jews could do to them having seen what they did to Jesus. And so they were scared and terrified. Uh, and in that room, uh, as they, they uh, gather together, uh, Jesus appears. That's another reason why John tells us the doors were locked. Because he wants to let us know that Jesus appears in a miraculous way. The risen Jesus, no longer held by physical boundaries. Uh, and, and Jesus comes in uh, to the room with the disciples. And they're even more frightened when they see him at first. But then reassured when he gives them this word, Shalom, peace be with you. He says it twice, so it's more than just a greeting. The second time he says it, it's is, uh, just after he shows them his hands and his side and the wounds. When they see his hands and his side, they realise uh, that this is Jesus. Uh, and when he says, peace be with you again, uh, it's more than a greeting. You see, Jesus, uh, by dying on the cross, his wounds in his hands and his side they, and his feet, those were there inflicted on the cross to pay, to take the judgment for our sin. Jesus was standing in our place uh, so that we could stand before God as declared innocent because Jesus has taken the penalty for us. And so that Jesus has now made peace with God for us. We can now call God our Father. Peace, shalom, means more than the English word peace means. Peace means an absence of war, an absence of stress, an absence of violence. But, but shalom means wholeness. It means wellness. It means all the blessings that come from God's kingdom uh, in your life. And that's what Jesus has won for us on the cross. And so Jesus can bring peace into a room that no one else can bring. It's a peace that the world cannot give. Only Jesus can give it. And it's that peace that gives us the assurance that our sins are forgiven. We are children of God and we belong to him. And so when Jesus comes into the room that day, he brings peace. He brings peace into each heart that receives him. A peace of knowing that no matter what this world brings and no matter what happens, 
uh, we know that we, we are children of God uh, and that one day we will go to be with him uh, and that God will, will, Jesus will return again to this earth and that the earth belongs to God. We know all that and we know that we are in his hands. And so when the risen Jesus comes into your heart, your life uh, changes and you have a peace even in the midst of COVID-19, even in the midst of all the dark news that's coming out and, and all, all that the future that, that is ahead of us, we know that we have Jesus who gives us peace. You see, peace isn't the absence of trouble or stress. Peace is the presence of Jesus in your life and in your heart. Thanks. I, I hope uh, you continue to keep well and uh, please keep in touch uh, with us through our Facebook or through the phone or through texts. Uh, please let us know how you're doing. Thanks. Bye.